It's locked, okay. Hey, there's a lady. Who's this? A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Equitia, what's your story? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? That's what I do, bro. <laughs> Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance oh, for fuck's in high sake. office. Just talk. I quit it. Like, I don't have time for this. You would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. Oh, fuck off. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. You know, you could have saved us all a bunch of time if you just had. If you had just done that. In the first place, and be like, instead of instead of taking me through that whole thing and trying to make me feel bad, you could just be like, hey, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. It's chill. <laughs> it's chill. Yeah, ignoring proper procedures is a sin. Game over. How'd you end up here? You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? A young woman named Karen dragged me out of the river and then told me off, and then sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you. It's an older name, but not uncommon where I'm from. Older. I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. What are you going to say? Come on. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember, and see if you notice any patterns. F -f pulling getting pulled up by the river. Being a bit coy. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you, too. And to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them ah, where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, about <laughs> a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. But she just looked at us with this haunted stare called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the golden rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? Okay. Oh, thank you. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through this labyrinth, and come back to me if you discover any patterns. This will try to the quest, showing its objective markers only. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Citizens! It is time. Oh. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Oh. Time the election is on. Wait, what's this? What's 
there is like a real time thing in this. Hello? Uh. Hello? Hello. Uh, what's your story? My name's Dooley. Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they. They said they had to lock me it's up. It's Dobby, the house elf. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. So when do you think you were gonna steal? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. I was looking, I swear. Is that all? Oh, actually right. Hang on, while the ads are playing, I will be I'll finish this I conversation first. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called me. They called me a liar, Billy. A liar, Billy? <gasps> That's the worst thing you can call someone a liar, Billy. A liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you? Do you think you Yeah, this guy doesn't seem like a reliable person to rely on whether or not they were committing a crime or not. <laughs> Magister Sentius Tadilius, I'm writing to you in relation to your incongruable antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian, Hannibal, some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. Um, the treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, and not necessarily, Sasani, they don't know what actually turns people to statues. They're going off of what they think turns people to statues. So, they would accuse them of potentially looking to rob people. trespassing, which isn't a sin, but could still be a crime that they don't want people doing. Just you just, just because it doesn't turn them to gold doesn't mean that they're, they're chill with you just wandering around and shit like that. Yeah, moral and sinful aren't the same thing. Yeah. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the systems, which are strictly off limits to citizens, I have reluctantly come to a conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited. Lest you break the golden rule. Yeah, so they're basically sticking here because they're pretty sure if they let him wander around, he might break the golden rule. It's my hope that this letter will assist you to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memory. What does it say? It says they caught you trespassing several times and they locked you up to stop you from breaking the golden rule. Uh, my treasure. My treasure. My friend. friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He Dooley. said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made mm. me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Oh. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Everybody hide! Everybody run! What the fuck? Ah, ah. Jesus Christ, that was loud as shit. Oh my god, someone just committed a crow. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god, that was so loud. Huh? What? Slept off a ledge and died. <laughs> uh, 
concept of a legend die. <laughs> Once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our uh. <laughs> citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our. Uh, okay now. That was so loud. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, Hang on, let me just skip right. Let me skip this thing. Uh, right, we know this. I said I did. Yeah, I can skip through this bit, man. Uh, should we take that? We know what it says. What does it say? Uh, Treasure. My friend, he said he gave me this key. All I remember is he said yeah, some now nobody looks yeah. after me. Except my friend Galerius and Ek. Priestess lady. Yeah, I think someone did in the election. She's a nice lady. Give me the key, I can try to find what it unlocks. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Uh, let me talk to the magistrate about getting you out. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen. So there is something happening the in real time, then. It, it, like, while you're doing stuff, so it's, like, it's got its own cycle. Are you saying we had a... Maybe I'll just break you out. What about the rules? I don't want everyone to get in trouble because I was bad. Tell me the new magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. Let's see what I can do. We're going now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, I don't know how to stop that voice in particular just being loud as shit. <laughs> I don't want the voices to be down. Just gotta just prepare yourself for when that gets very loud again. to mark the end of an era. The myth of the golden rule is no more. You broke a golden rule. The golden rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial against Domitius. Oh, okay. For entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to I get suspect us all killed. Tell me I suspect Malleus. I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your 
true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You doom us all. Lies! It is time the Golden Rule was exposed for what it is. A children's fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. Impossible. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's so fucking loud. Out of my way! Where? 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 Ah! Oh! 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 Ah! Oh. What do you mean this way? What are you talking about? Ow! I don't know what it means this way. What the? Trying to run me into walls, it's so weird. Yeah. Can I please ride this now? Oh, you're not. You're you're from the you're from present time, silly Viking. You're not from this area. Wait. Oh no! Hang on. I'm going the wrong way. God damn it! How the fuck you know? A skeleton? Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Crandall. We've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. My name is Galerius, and you're about to offer me a TC Sentia so you can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Problem? I gotta go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a zip line! <laughs> Thank you. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang onto the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. 
I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Like that shifty eyes. Man, that fucking, that golden rule thing is so fucking loud. I, don't, I wish they could just turn that down. It's too loud. All right. See I get that around. it's loud to like be a thing, but it's too loud for the stream. It like tips, it, it maxes everything out. And if I don't have things turned up, then it makes everything too quiet. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's in your mind? What's your story? I never actually found out much about this. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. All right. I'm a farmer. Always happy. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Man, I'm Probably so hungover. Here, have a zip One line. Day, <laughs> when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top I should never have gone zip line. When some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up. I'm in a hurry, but, but also... By the time I got back... I want to hear your he whole story. ...bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. Oh. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young, and it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged, these legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they... I'm in a hurry to learn more about you. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. Okay. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt. Lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what yeah. they'd done. It still burns whenever I think about it. One sec. Be right back. Let's go check some. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, well. I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in rebellion no against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. Yeah, it's quite intense to share with random strangers. Years working <laughs> for my new yeah. master, learning the Romans' ways, romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. Never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, <laughs> the flesh, some stranger the screams, was dragging I it all. me out of a river. Oh, well, thanks for the zip line. Stumbled across this place and... Yeah, it's always someone dragging them out of a river, isn't it? Hmm. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So, oh, man, they really hold that over, dear didn't old magistrate is no better than the legion oh, thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting, and he'll get his one day. He'll get his. Uh. Forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away sometimes. Sure lie. <laughs> sure, sure lie. I love that. I love that it's the same thing, but one of them just has lie next to it. Sure, sure lie softly. Sure. 
Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Uh, do you know we out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Centilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could sure, she found lie her down. Just... If sure. anyone knows for sure, <laughs> it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Just lie on the floor. Sure, man. Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Yeah. What do you mean, do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see why I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost yep. as bad. Even I could do a better job. Yeah. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. Yeah, so it kind of doesn't remind me about the wild, actually. Yeah. Dooley from his cell. It's kind of what me interested in because I knew it had like a time loop thing. There she runs. He's gonna break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. Now, what was interesting is he said, "I'm gonna kill you," and then he said someone had broken the golden rule, but no one had actually died from that bit. So I don't know if something had happened somewhere. Like, no one had actually killed anyone when the golden rule broken they just said they would and then it said the golden rules be broken so i don't know if that what then what was happening there was what broke the golden rule or if someone somewhere else maybe perhaps grown the broken rule at the exact same time which you know because i don't I see i don't that's just saying it <laughs> i don't know you overheard him say that? Oh, why does that not surprise me? He and Sentius have despised each other for a long time now. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. Because he's going to go an old man. And Sentius is the only candidate left. I'll run against him. Deal? All right. I'm going now. All right. See you around. Wow, that character looks so much like Aloy Sorry. from uh, <laughs> from uh, New, uh, Zero Dawn Horizon. What have they done to you, Aloy? They've turned you into an alloy. There's a couple of them. Uh, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Cavalry helmet. A ancient Roman cavalry helmet with an enclosed face mask and plume made for dyed, made of dyed horse hair. Type of ancient Roman shield known as a scutum. Legionary's banner from the first Italica. This belongs to Horatius. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the sword. The Cerberus sword. lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. The, the voice, the voice differences in this can be shockingly different. Like the the voices, some of them are loud, some are quite quiet. 
Looks like someone has been working hard on a prototype zip line. Oh, I wonder whose house this could be. <laughs> Is this Galerius, by chance? A poem by Galerius. Oh, boy. A love poem to an unspecified woman. My life has been torturous as the seven labors of Hercules, or Heracles. Orphaned, defeated, and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly. Because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame, but to watch you, watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow is enough. I mean, I get it, Glarious, but I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I agree with you about this one. I know you're horny, but maybe not the crazy, the crazy homeless person. Small wooden, uh, wooden, small wooden of an arena, possibly Verona Arena, which was completed in the first century and is still used today. I like my archaeological insight. <laughs> you, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Uh, what's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without hey, flesh Jackal. or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades. Imitating their previous lives. Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea what that means. They never do. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia, for your backstory. So, do you know we're out of here? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. I see. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Right. Do you, do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen Oh, this is the patterns, lady. A pattern. A terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Find out why she's acting strange. She got into someone's special stash. Can you tell me what about the pattern you saw? You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box. Okay, I'll be going now. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. You're a barrel of laughs, you are. I love your clothes. So exotic. Mm, what about this? Check out my torch. What do you reckon? Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, you're here. I'm so she glad very you decided shiny. to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Let me stop you right There's there. A light I'm interested. In eyes Let's I've do never this thing. Seen before. <laughs> I'm ready. A certain learning and sophistication. <laughs> I'm in. You're as charming as you are, beautiful. Oh, stop it. No, please go on. Oh, and you're as charming as you are, beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Oh, shit. What? You came on at me? I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Oh, damn. I gotta go Let's jump off of me. that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Damn, came on too strong. Okay, next time. Next time, we'll come on less strong. <laughs> All right, so, so gotta, we gotta play it cool. 
It was a hard. That was a hard. I want, I want you to cut it out hard. Cut it out hard. Okay, done. <laughs> out. Damn man. What's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, do you know we're out of here? You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Wait, we're back to this again? It's cute, but uh, seriously, do you know where we're at? Straight to business, huh? Oh, Man, she's throwing me all, she's throwing me all sorts of missed signals here. I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know if this isn't a scam. If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule. Would you? We don't I? even know what the golden rule is. No so the golden rule is so that. vague. Uh, it's kind of like an unethical to keep all these people trapped in here, knowing there's a way out. I think of it this way: I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now. Do you want it or not? Um, your way out. Why haven't you used it yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Tell me about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. Past things. What's the matter? Can't afford it. No, I don't well, think so. perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion. What do you think about the golden rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Ah, yes, the saying, that classic saying. Any gossip? Certainly. For ten dinari. Uh, okay, here's ten dinars. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around caked in yeah, filth, muttering a, nonsense to herself. A... It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Whatever you like. All right. See ya. I don't know. Do I have to like? Do I have to like neg her on to like to get anywhere? It seems like she doesn't want me to come on too strong. So you have to like sound like you're not interested. You stay away from my money. What money? Vats of beer. It's locked. Small vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. So I keep my money from the last play for, from when I was here before. I did. Cool. Kept all my stuff, actually. So I don't lose my stuff when I go back. Unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink, get out! Dude, I'm getting a whiplash around being around here. Handsome, I'll fucking kill you and poison you! What? What? <laughs> what just happened? She flirted and threatened me at the same time. She's on like another level. She's working on a whole new level. Fret, flirting and threatening. Flirting. So if I steal this, I'm just gonna turn it down a bit. This, this, you may, this may be loud, so be warned. 
Yeah. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Stealing is definitely a bad thing. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Who did it? <laughs> Who sinned? Not me. I definitely didn't just nick something from a chair. So do I keep what I, I nick them as well? I do. So I could just like nick stuff in people's chests and go back in time. Would the money be back there again? Can I just keep doing that to get more money? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Um, why are you speaking English? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there. Changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again. Who are you? And what were you doing in the shrine? Um, Crandall and I got... Uh, we've had this conversation before. Uh... Yeah, we've done this. Oh. Actually, actually, I want to talk to you again. Of course. What did you want to know? I never mind. Nothing. I'll be going. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. You confused me a lot. All right, this time I'm gonna. This time I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the right things. I'm gonna see the right, the correct things. It's gonna work. I've already. I have the zip line still from before. You don't lose stuff as you go. Um, as you uh, when you go back, you keep what you had. Galerius Magistrate, counted by I would rather drink Aurelia's special brew. So I'm curious, like, I wonder, is the chest now empty, or does it have stuff in there? Oh, okay, so you can just, you can just keep nicking money then, I guess, and going back in time. I love your clothes. So exotic. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and, uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but there's a light in... Uh, no, stop it. No, please go on. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. Oh. I take back what I said. Let's just forget that ever happened. So... All right. All right. Just... Cerberus oh, lifts his dribble head and lets out his threefold praying. Say not interested, which I guess will again give me the option to say nothing. This is an orgy of four girls here in this bit. Well, another one! Oh my god. This person's having orgies everywhere. A metal dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly, cheating must be a problem among the room. Yes, only amongst the Romans, though. Let's go. Ah, because we're back here. There's a chest down by there. Does it change every time? No, I, I think you get the same results. You can just... If you can just use information you've got from other ones to change, like, some things that might happen. A bunch of goose eggs laid by the city's goose. I'll take them. I like the idea of just doing it on my own as opposed to having markers. A 
Hey, this is Galerius again. Ah, it's you again. No. Nothing. Uh, just seeing if, right. you, seeing if you said anything different by here. Oh, I see, Plap. That would be quite funny if it does change every time. went to these old ancient ru Roman ruins or Greek ruins or whatever they are and uh, you ended up falling back in time and you're stuck in this this city that you can't escape from and that uh, if anyone ever commits a crime everyone else in the whole town gets turned to gold and you're stuck in like a time loop it's like a mystery time loop kind of thing like Outer Wilds don't steal anything, but don't hurt anyone. Don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a chance to finish, evidently. Get in. Yeah. Okay, I'm not getting in there. Unless I was to go here. No, okay, I'm not getting in there. Let's have a look. See, what, what, did, what did you put down, Kevin? Just save real fast. Just save real fast. Oh, this game doesn't seem like it being likes being old and tabbed out of. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine just someone blowing a tube in my face. Oh god, that'd be horrible. Oh, this is where the uh, thingy takes place. An old scroll which the author makes the case against the existence of the Golden Rule. The Myth of the Golden Rule by Durotus du the Younger. As per our custom, I shall begin by paying my respects to the gods responsible for this city. The god, sorry. For our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion. He deserves our admiration. But here I must depart from custom, for his attempt at imposing strict rule upon us is oppressive and overreaching, and deserving of our contempt. Who among us has not awoken at night in a cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the golden rule? All of us must accept that we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment a conscious decision based on faulty reasoning. Yet the, great, yet the great fret, the sword of Damocles that we live under, I believe merely a deception. I shall prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing the counter-arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscription stating the many shall suffer for the sins of the one is evidence that the golden rule is very real. But that logically, by, but that is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writers knew any more than we did. That this message was inscribed does not make it true any more than if we were to inscribe Durotas the Younger is a god. Second, it may be argued that the statues in this... I mean... I feel like he's just counted his own thing for... Like, the Bible and belief and stuff like that. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Second, it may be argued that the statues in this place are evidence that the Golden real, Rule is real. You need not remind me of that. It was I who discovered them all around this city. It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart, uh, and placed them in the niches in which they sit today. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the conclusion that they were once real people. There was simply no evidence to support that conclusion. When we read the story of v Venus bringing 
Pygmalion's sculpture? Galatia to life. We do not believe it's true. Why should we take a different view here? But ultimately, these arguments are just that. After years living in fear, there's only one way for me to prove that the golden rule is falsehood, and that is through action. Friends, I apologize in advance for this, but one day you will see this moment as a turning point in our city's history. Let us, once, let us see once and for all if the golden rule is real as I strike one of you with my fists. Well, I think, uh, <laughs> I think this man's pose and face at me tell the tale, really. <laughs> it's not real. Oh my god, it's real. It's all real. Ah, oh, it's real. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Yeah, it's like that one where the guy dies. He's like, oh my god, it's all real, it's real, oh my god, it's real. I blame you. <laughs> you, you, you made me doubt myself. Like, man, what a unfortunate thing this is. I kind of want to finish chatting with that, uh, the guy who was, uh, locked up, actually. Hi. Just wandering down the back alleys now, seeing what we got. Daenerys and a bottle of wine. Ooh, possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. Ooh. Looks like they're about to fight each other there. Drinking us in. No, it doesn't seem like it. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. I am an avid reader, apparently. No, because they have a they have a bar and stuff like that. Again, the people don't decide what the sins. Whatever, whatever is responsible for all this decides what the sins are. Okay, well, this definitely. Wow! Oh my God! I don't like that I caught him, ch his head changing to look at me there. Yeah. <laughs> does the story advance on its own? It does, yes. And then you go into the loop again. But the story always seems to basically. It's kind of like the. It's like um. Like Outer Wilds, where there's a countdown to the end, which is in which in Outer Wilds is the sun exploding, and in this case, uh, the countdown is to when they do the vote and um, thingy turns on them and they start a fight. Why don't we climb up? They can only support my weight. Uh, I'm carrying for something over there. Let me get Dragon Quest 2 build as I go. Dragon Quest build. Yeah, I do. I did. Uh, I gave up though, because I don't know. Didn't have as much fun of it as I did with the first one.
Send the one shot. <laughs> shall punish the many. The forty-nine Bellides fetch a 